What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Pretty Geo Games video channel. My name is Gareth, and uh, today uh, we're going to be kind of flying by the seat of our pants because I had a whole bunch of stuff prepped for this episode, and then tragedy befell me. But you know what? What do we do? We pick ourselves up, we move forward, and don't look back. So what we're going to be doing today is looking at some time-lapse footage of the game that I'm working on. I really should name it soon. Uh, maybe we'll work on that in the upcoming episodes. But uh, for now, it is the as yet untitled racing game. And uh, yeah, let's take a look and see what we can see. You know? And while that's going on, I'll just kind of talk in the background about the game, the universe it's set in and all that. So let's get to it. So as far as this game goes, I mean, like I said, it doesn't have a name yet, but basically it centers around kind of this hover bike racing concept. And this is kind of the sport of choice for the people of the city called New Ithaca, which is where all of kind of the, the core games of this series are gonna take place. So in this case, um, it's really simple. There's not a whole lot of storyline, but basically um, the idea is that you are kind of the new recruit on this racing team. Um, there's two other racers that I already had kind of lined up in my mind um, named Ellis and Garland. Um, just kind of arbitrary choices. I just like the names, but basically they're kind of the, um, I envision Ellis to be the uh, kind of the veteran of the racing team and Garland is the next in line. And basically you're the fresh new blood that's coming in and they have to train you and you have to try and, uh, you know, prove your worth. So I, I like that because it kind of abstracts the player from the, um, you know, having to take the role of any one particular character. Um, and there's really not, like I said, any deeper story beyond that. Uh, it's really just kind of a getting used to the idea of developing in VR and, um, and yeah, just kind of getting adjusted to um, fine tuning things like the controls and stuff like that. So uh, the wider universe that it takes place in is going to be a, a much more elaborate kind of setup. Uh, and the ultimate culminating game is going to be the one that I have been kind of referring to this whole time. That's the one that's called Odesia, which is, uh, we'll go into that later because that kind of takes place in this same city, but after a cataclysmic thing has happened. So for now, we'll just concentrate on this racing game. And uh, now in this, we should be seeing that you'll, we're getting some more details on this model here. And so the the hover bike racing concept has really been in my mind the whole time, but the idea of how to design these bikes, because I'm really not a vehicle designer, so it's kind of just learn as I go. And uh, there's been a couple of different ways I've tried to do it, whether poly modeling or sculpting like this. And in any case, I found that it's, it's actually a lot of fun and I'm really enjoying it. And I'm thinking I'll probably need to make at least three or four different kind of body archetypes of these bikes so that you have enough variety and maybe you can have a choice of which ones you want to do, which ones will be more apt to concentrate on good maneuverability as opposed to top speed, things like that. Um, but really that's just kind of a decision I'll make down the road. As far as the rest of this goes, it's just, uh, you know, kind of all arbitrary <laughs> at this point. I don't really have a whole lot of uh, elaborate decisions already made here. I'm keeping it intentionally kind of fluid so that I can come in with new ideas and things like that. I've had some ideas about um, heads up displays, things like that. But at the end of the day, really, the core element here is that I just want to make it fun to play. And, um, and I really hope that we can achieve that, obviously. So that's about that. I won't dawdle around. That's uh, our episode for the day. And I uh, I promise I will come back to you with some more in-depth, uh, good episodes in the coming weeks. Uh, I have at least one really good tutorial already planned, and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, it's been great, and uh, I will see you soon.